in the park um, we've got some sun for a change best time to be editing a film and doing post-production in a dark room <laughs> I was uh, I'm a fan of a, a YouTube channel called uh, Indie Film Hustle and uh, I was listening to some uh, videos there uh, I think his name's Alex Ferreira you know you've always got a thing in your head where you want to go with filmmaking especially at the level that I'm doing at the moment you know and maybe for the future where he was talking about you know filmmaking is so frustrating because in any other art form whether you're making doing pictures paintings drawings writing novels even creating an album because you can sit in your room and create an album on a laptop and do all the music you don't even need a band you know filmmaking is different you need a you know, usually, yeah, even though you can do it very micro sized and small, you still need a team of people, you still need finance all the time for each film, even if it's small. And then we're talking about, he was talking about to our filmmaker how you only get to create once in a while, really. You're shooting a film for two weeks or ten days or six days, every few months or once a year, every few years, when you're really creative and you're writing a script for a few weeks. And it's true. And if you've got a very creative spirit where you want to create all the time, like a painter, like I've got, you know, you want to keep creating, you've got that energy and your energy is not the same when you're not creating. It's probably the only sort of creative craft art form where it is very sluggish. And if you've got a fire in you, you're constantly fighting against that. You're constantly getting frustrated by that. If you get energy, it extinguishes that energy. So for me personally, you know, I said before, over the next couple of years, I was trying to find a way to change that. Or if I can't over the next couple of years, I'll probably get into novel writing, which I've started anyway, in the art and still be creative and make a film once in a while for fun, you know. Because you still got to make a living at it. And you make a living, you have to make a living being prolific and building your own personal brand. And um, so for me, you know, that started with Psycho Sex Dolls more of a business approach to things as well which is the film business when you're making indie films, Hollywood films it is the film business so you've got to find a way to make a living with it be highly creative but make a living as well you know that's why building a little so we've got a bee here building a little franchise is the goal you know because um, build revenue so you can keep making so you can keep you can do it as a living you don't have to have your day job as corporate videos which takes up most of your time you know you know so i study other filmmakers like steven soderbergh and ridley scott ridley scott who's very prolific and of course he's got budgets and he can move fast but there's plenty of hollywood directors with budgets and they make a film every four years ridley scott fucking churns them out you know and um, but steven soderbergh's very uh, big fan of his career does hollywood films does phone films and phones and usually when he's shooting a film, some of the films that he does himself, he's shooting a film, he's editing on the go. He's literally putting in a laptop and editing, so by the time the shoot's finished, the film is almost edited. And of course you've got other post-production stuff, but within weeks it's done. Yeah, a little bit, you know, money helps here, of course, when you get no money. But I'm trying to get that model now, trying to get the model when I'm shooting. At the end of the day, I'm editing. So by the time the end of the shoot's done, the post is done within a few weeks out on the next one you know and that's what i'm trying to do with cycle sex dolls it's took longer this year for many several reasons i shot in november even though it's still pretty fast but if i had the money it would have been done dusted on the next one but um i'm trying to change that now so that when i release cycle sex dolls in july i'm going to release it in a different way i'm going to release it at stage one through another kickstarter campaign for the sequel people will get to see early the first one and if they like it through the kickstarter and we'll see a treatment for the sequel on Kickstarter. And if they like it, they can support the next one. And if that works, the next one goes into production in September or something like that. And then edited really fast so there's money in there for the post right away. So that it can be out before the end of the year. So there's a sequel out. And keep things going that way. And I've got other films as well that I've done. I shot a couple of last year and mix up. Because I don't want to just be known as the sex doll guy. You know, I've been making films for years. So I want to mix it up so you don't put it in a box. You're just a filmmaker. Um, but people see the next one. The sequel is more a horror genre. And there's a third one. And the third one's more, a, you know, in the horror genre. And if people see this. They don't discover it until the second or the third. Then the first one becomes a prequel. Because people might discover it more in the second one in the horror community. And then they go back and say, where did this come from? And they go back and they find the birth of it. So the first one becomes a prequel. doesn't really matter what way you do it, you know. So, but the, the point is, in having multiple revenue sources where you're selling posters and pop art, 
and books um, and novels, you know, to earn a living, you know, not to be a multi-millionaire, but to earn a living doing what you're doing, because most filmmakers don't earn a living for filmmaking, it's a fact, you know, and I haven't for years, I've earned my living for corporate videos and social media videos for people, so uh, you got to find your way, for me personally, I've got to find my way creatively, it works for me, so I can keep creating and move and release and create and move and release and also monetize so I can fund other films, so I can do it as a job. So for me, that's been the goal over the next, I started last year, I said, give myself three years. Again, if you're getting into industry movies and you're doing, maybe necessarily Hollywood, but films that cost a few million, then of course you can take a year because you're getting paid, you got a wage um, and you can do other things in between that are more small and be creative like Soderbergh does with phone films. Um, but the way it works, we independent films, micro, no budget films, uh, doesn't really fucking work. It doesn't work for me, you know. It's no creative enough, it's no fast enough, it's hard to make a living. Um, so that's my goal, really. Anyway, in the park, doing a 10k walk. Thanks for watching.